there is an idea of something called a lethal text. The lethal text is a piece of some sort that intensely affects the minds of the viewer by destroying it. The lethal text contains a paradox or a contradiction that penetrates our natural shield against infinite loops in the mind. A lethal text is said to completely destroy the mind and induce a crippling insanity one cannot return from. However, an alternative view suggests that a lethal text may lead to a higher state of consciousness. We can imagine the metaphor of Plato's cave and the one who escapes from the cave. There are at least two different types of paradox, two extremes. There are probably many paradoxes that lie in the middle. The first is a simple language contradiction. This sentence is a lie. It's a very shallow paradox, but um, that's just one end of the spectrum. The other end involves the idea of being. For to speak of being assumes that it is possible to be. And that sets up a whole um, duality or dichotomy, uh, which uh, has been discussed uh, elsewhere, so I won't go into it much here. Aleister Crowley uh, wrote in his, in his book Magic and Theory and Practice, There is no such thing as truth in the perceptible universe. Every idea when analyzed, is found to contain a contradiction. This is not just a simple language contradiction, because it contains the idea of being, whether or not truth is. The sentence also becomes self-aware. It starts off as true, but then as soon as it becomes self-aware and specifically aware that it contains a contradiction, then it becomes false. But its being false makes it true again, and so on. There are some paradoxical phrases in the Tao Te Ching. In verse 1, we read the Tao that can be described as not the eternal Tao. The name that can be spoken is not the eternal name. In verse 56, we read, One who is wise does not claim wisdom. One who claims wisdom is not wise. Obviously, the book is supposed to be a book of wisdom, so it's ironic for the writer to say such a thing. However, in the context of the Tao Te Ching, words are used as a poison to counteract a poison. That is, the poison of language. The verses are paradoxical, self-destructing approaches to discourse. Uh, throughout the Tao Te Ching, and in Zen Koans, uh, words are used in a penetrating and often devastating fashion as a means to overcome any trace of reliance on language. Stephen Hine defines the Zen Kon as a brief enigmatic antidote or dialogue between two contesting parties designed to twist and torment the ordinary rational mind and trigger a spiritual breakthrough to a realm beyond reason. He goes on to say that cones are rhetorical devices that use paradox, wordplay, and ambiguity to communicate a message about the maddening quality and inherent limitation of language. Essentially, Cohen's and paradoxical phrases, especially those in the esoteric writings and traditions, they induce infinite loops. Now, in a computer system, an infinite loop will exist for one of two reasons. First, there may be no condition set that would cause the loop to end. Second, there may be a condition that would cause the loop to end, but this condition will never be met. Immediately, 
my mind, I, fi I find th that what comes to mind is addictive behavioral patterns. Specifically, I ask the question, is cocaine and other uh, related uh, dopaminergic drugs, such as the amphetamines, um, are, are those examples of lethal texts? And what about um, stimuli, especially um, stimuli uh, that involve uh, it was a stimuli that uh, trigger epileptic seizures, uh, the ones that involve abrupt changes in um, luminance contrast? Are those lethal texts? My interest in this concept um, stems from esoteric thoughts on the nature of the intellect. Israel Regardeo wrote in his book, A Garden of Pomegranates, the intellect contains within itself a principle of self-contradiction and that, therefore, it is an unreliable instrument to use in the great quest for truth. Here I see that Cohen's paradoxes have a lot of value, and that value lies in their ability to be used to disintegrate the intellect and to discover and develop faculties of the mind that lie beyond it. As an artist, when I create something, it is my intention for it to be a lethal text. I'd like to explore this concept further. I'd like to develop pieces of art that destroy the intellect but are not only destructive I want the pieces to go on to water the seeds of the underdeveloped faculties of the mind